clogged storm drain again. All that water used to just flow right over into this part of the yard and it eventually killed that tree. Now, because of the berm that's in place right here under the fence, it has a chance to slowly move along and down the driveway. As opposed to coming over the lawn and killing the grass, killing the tree. Now, all that water that used to come across the road onto the left of this tree is taken into the rain garden right in the middle of the frame. The overflow is coming into the river right now. You see these little <clears throat> blockages? Those are intentional to stop the debris from flowing and clogging downstream. So when it comes time to clean up, all I gotta do is remove that little bit of uh, leaf. But you see the water in between. The water flows under the, around the rock, but the leaves are captured by the little uh, stone rebutments, if you will. A little river management, but you see the water right in the river. First it goes into the hole, deep saturation hole off of the road and then it flows around, safely and under control. We can't manage what's happening in the storm drain. We can take some of the water, we can relieve some of the burden by creating little diversions such as this right through the fence line, see that? That used to all just flow to the storm drain, adding even more water. So we take on the water into our yard, it's coming anyway. We don't necessarily want it. It's full of toxins. It's full of nutrient, but now that toxin and nutrient is being handled by the organic matter in that garden bed and in the lawn itself. So the property, our real estate is protected and beautified. But still, the storm drains with that amazing deluge we just had coming down both sides of Monument Road here, still clogged the storm drain. The damage would have been much, much more severe if we did not have this in place. This is the terra firma road garden being put through its paces in Orleans, Massachusetts. I'm Peter Jensen, but this is terra firma, regenerative agroecology in action.